Hey, it's John Eugenics, Grandpa, and today we're going to talk about the Automo Model 55 Home Safe. Here we go. We're going to unbox it and work our way through it and then talk about some of the features of it. <sighs> Automo Safe. So this is the Automo, it says Model 55 on the box, safe. Let's open this up and see what we get here with this thing. Now I have a small, small safe in another room, but don't have one this big. So this here is, looks like keys and some hardware. Put that to the side for now. There's our instruction manual. This is the hard part, folks. Getting this son of a gun out of this box. Let's see here. It's the best way to do this. Probably the best way to do this is to flip it on its back. And slide it out. I'm going to have to find a place for this in my house. <laughs> All right. Got feet. Doesn't have rubber feet. Sure could use some rubber feet, I think. Okay, it's got holes in the back, so I guess it can be mounted on a wall. All right, let's put that aside. There's that hardware. Of course, it's locked, so we got to figure out how to get into this thing for the first time. There's a key there. There's a key there. I think it needs batteries. Is this a light of some kind? All right, let's look at the manual and see what it says. It's an emergency battery box. Okay, floor mat. Okay, so these do go on the bottom of it. Oh, oh, they stick on. All right, let's do that. So you're just kind of getting a first-hand glimpse. This is an initial reaction to this safe. Okay, I guess these just stick on there. There's one. There's two. There's really no recommended place here for to stick these on. Three. Four. Okay. So those are on. What else do we need to do to set this thing up? Okay, so this is a touch screen. Let's flip this up here. There. So the first time you open it, slide the master key hole to the left, insert the master key, and turn it to the horizontal state. This is the master key. Horizontal state. All right. And Press down on the edge of the emergency. Okay. And that's what this cylinder style lock is for, I guess. Okay. All right, there we go. 
and our safe is open. <laughs> it's got all these interesting gold accents. It's very... <laughs> I find it funny, actually. I guess this is for our batteries. Yes. Does it come with batteries? Does not appear to come with batteries. All right, so this is like a little mini box inside. I don't understand that. If someone can get through those two locks, then they can get through this simple one in here. But okay, so that's like for your documents and things like that. Okay, that's a little liner, I guess, in there. Yep, there's a liner here. Uh, we got some packing material in here. This, I don't know what this is on top here. Oh, this must be the, is that the lock? Ah, that's the lock, okay. So you got three locks on the side here and this one up here. And then you got this little small box here. Yep, the holes in the back here are for mounting it to a wall. Okay, when it's too low to operate the lock, you can put batteries in this. How do we get this open? Aha, is this how? Yes, there we go. All right, I get it now. This is something you kind of keep to the side and if you need to use it, yes, there's a plug underneath here. Aha, that you can plug in, you can plug into here. It'll have the batteries in it and it'll operate this keypad. Let's see if we can get this keypad operational. I'll be back with some batteries. Ah, there we go. All right. All right, let's see if we got that set correctly. So you touch the screen and you put in your code. Hmm, so you touch the screen. Hit the pound key. Hit the pound key again. Okay, that was wrong. And that unlocked it. Okay, now it's locked back up. I close it. Tap the screen. I tap it a couple times here. You gotta hit the pound key. Put in your code. Then the pound key again. So now that we're done with the unboxing and figuring out how this works, let's talk a little bit about the features of this safe. I know you probably can't see me, but let's do this. Let's slide this over here then I can sit down next to it. This goes there. Okay. So inside the safe, you have little spots here to hang your keys. This is cheap plastic here. The metal on the outside feels fairly thick. Um, you got a door that opens a little more than 90 degrees. You have this spot in here for, I guess, documents. This is not fireproof by any means. And you have this kind of thin material for the bottom of the safe. And what else have we got in here? Ah, and you have an adjustable shelf in here as well. These little white plastic parts come out and you can adjust the shelf. It's fairly easy to operate once you have the passcode set. You have to tap the screen to wake it up. You press the pound key and then you enter your four digit code and press the pound key again, which will unlock it.
Oh, I've set off the alarm. Not that loud. Okay, pressing the setting key on the inside turns that off. So if you take the key out like this, and it's in this vertical position, when you put in your code, it won't unlock. You actually have to twist the key in order. You have to use the key to unlock it. So you do have this dual method that you can set up. When it's in this horizontal position like this, and you put in your code, you can just use the code to unlock it. So if you're looking for a safe to keep things locked up in your house that you're not necessarily, you know, you, you just want to keep people in the house out of, I think this is a great safe for you. I think based on the construction, uh, and I'm certainly no security expert, this is not going to keep out somebody who knows what they're doing. It's a deterrent for people in the house. So if you have guns you want to lock up, if you have important documents that you want locked up, things like that can go in here. So it makes for a good personal safe, for personal items, but you're not going to be storing valuable jewelry, gold bars, or anything like that in this thing. That being said, I would say that this Automo Model 55 Safe is great. I like the fingerprint option there, or not the fingerprint option, but the LCD screen here. It's very bright. It's got the little alarm on it that, you know, is going to go off if somebody punches a code in wrong three times, which is good. And then it has the backup battery pack that you can plug into the bottom here so that if you need to get into it after the batteries die, you have that option. So if you're looking for a safe to kind of keep in the house, put some documents in, maybe put some, put your firearms in or your ammunition in, I think this will do great. I think compared to other gun safes that I've seen, uh, it's not keeping out the lockpicking lawyer, that's for sure. So that's it. My name's John, your Gen X grandpa, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.